welcomed the bold proposal to relieve traffic on the overburdened Prince Pence Bridge and spur local development as well. It is a multi-billion dollar bypass, folks, that would span two states, five counties, and three major local rivers. Good evening, I'm Craig McKee. Tanya work has the night off. You know what? Not everyone is on board with this plan. And we're taking a closer look for you as part of our reporting on growth and its effect on our region. Move up Cincinnati. Now, Nine on Your Side's Kristen Swilly joins us live right now with the debate over a solution to driver's gridlock woes. Kristen? Yeah, good evening, guys. The Brent Spence Bridge has, of course, been the big priority here regionally for years, but some believe an eastern bypass could alleviate some of the pressure on this aging structure. But there is a catch. It has a six billion dollar price tag, and that is money many believe could be better spent elsewhere. I just don't want to be bothered with it, is the truth. Life in this corner of Lebanon is slow. I love it here. It's very quiet, very comfortable. But things are sure to pick up speed if the Cincinnati Eastern Bypass gets off the ground. The most recent map shows it coming right through this neighborhood. The new highway would give drivers a new way to cross the Ohio River from northern Kentucky around Cincinnati and continue across 71 south of Lebanon to 75 in Franklin. The idea in part is to alleviate traffic on other highways and the Brent Spence Bridge. We would expect that uh, it would radically change traffic patterns. Warren County engineer Neil Tunison says much of his area's traffic problems involve east and west traffic, not north and south. It doesn't address our our issues and I would rather see the money go towards the Brent Spence Bridge. But Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin says a Brent Spence solution and bypass are the only path forward. For us to be smart, we need to build a bypass that they are going to grow to wherever we build it. That is just a straight up fact. When you build bypasses, they, they, they tend to have a life of their own. Advocates for the bypass are working on a state bill that would come up with other ways to raise that money, including tolls and private partnerships. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.